So I've recently started a series where I'm teaching beginners how to become a makeup artist from the scratch. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you some makeup kits you must have that will help you kickstart your journey to becoming a professional makeup artist. These products are products that you need in order to practice well, to be more confident, and generally just start as a beginner. They are going to narrow down to just the basics you need, the essentials you need, okay? Today's topic is designed to help speed up your goods so that you can become a professional makeup artist and start earning money. So if this sounds like something you want to see, keep on watching. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oresi, a graphic. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. On this channel, I share makeup tutorials, tips and tricks, and I also share vlogs as well. So this video is a continuation of the series, How to Become a Professional Makeup Artist from the Scratch in 2024. As our tradition for this series, we always start with a prayer before we continue, okay? So close your eyes and let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you for another day to study. Thank you for another day to learn. We are about to learn about makeup kit. Lord, we ask, we ask for understanding. We ask the Lord for knowledge. We ask the Lord for insight. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, like I said in the intro, these products are a must-have. If you want to start right, you need to start with the basic makeup products that you need. These are non-negotiable. If you really want to start earning, you need to get this product. I know in the previous video I spoke about in the first, in the second episode rather, I spoke about asking your parents for money in order to start yes i understand so when you are getting the money from your parents and from the little side jobs that you will start doing because you would have watched tutorials you would have understood some terminologies you would have been researching and i'm sure by this time you already understand how to apply makeup at least for someone okay if you have been following the series you should be able to at least attempt to do makeup like a full makeup on yourself or anybody your friend your siblings like i advise okay so the money you have been able to save up these products are what you need to get i don't want you wasting your money and buying some unnecessary things because you saw one makeup artist use it okay so this video is designed to help you pinpoint the basic makeup products that you need to have as a beginner okay so the basic and the very most important products you need to get as a beginner I tell this to my students all the time is your makeup brush this is non-negotiable makeup brush is like the foundation to everything is the key that unlocks everything your makeup brush will guide you throughout they are your weapon i don't know how to, they are your arsenal to launch into into the whole world of becoming a professional makeup artist so they are high they are highly non-negotiable they are highly non-negotiable so you need a good makeup brush i'm not mandating you to get everything at once but then you can get one per time you need to start with a makeup brush set a professional makeup brush set that is what you need to get the brush set that has everything and i would advise to buy a good one so you don't bother buying any makeup brush set in the future at least for a while why starting then you can improve later when the finances become better okay but then to start get a good makeup brush set you practice with it you grow with it if you check most makeup artists the brushes that they are using there are some essential brushes that they have been using from the day they started they refuse to change that brush because they have built their whole skill and their own style of makeup based on those brushes the makeup brush is the most important tool you need non-negotiable so get a good professional makeup brush set okay then that aside then let us move over to <laughs> i need to separate the brush makeup brush set and keep one side in fact put it at the top makeup brush set as the heading because that is non-negotiable you can manipulate others but then your brush set you can't so we are going to put a crown on the makeup brush set to indicate that it is very very important so let's move it here with the crown on top okay very good so moving on to other makeup products that you need remember in the previous video i spoke about skin prep okay and i spoke about skin work and i said skin prep 
is all about your moisturizer, your primers, the serums, and the like. While skin work consists of your foundation, your concealer, your powder, everything that makes the skin look flawless, especially when you're adding foundation and concealer, those that is skin work, okay? So now for skin prep, you need to select what you need to get first. So I would advise that you get one face serum, one moisturizer, but then you can choose in between moisturizer and a serum. Do you understand? Moisturizer and a serum. Pick the one that you can afford. But then a primer is non-negotiable. A mattifying primer is a must-have for oily skin, while for dry skin, like I said, makeup terminology, guys, have you researched? Did you watch my previous video? For dry skin, you if you had watched like the tutorials where I said you research about what kind of primer to get, what kind of primers not to get, you would, under, you would understand what I'm saying. My previous video, in fact, I'll drop a link here so that I can watch to understand the essential keywords you need to search for so that I can understand what I'm saying now. Like I said, you need to follow this series step by step, okay? So now back to what I was saying about skin prep. So for skin prep, let's put face serum and moisturizer together and then let's put primer here. Primer, mattifying primer for oily skin, you can use at least to start. You can start with just moisturizer or face serum for dry skin. But then you can use both for both dry and oily skin, okay? Face serum, moisturizer, then you move to mattifying primer for oily skin. But then when it's a dry skin, you don't need to use the mattifying primer. So mattifying primer must have. And now you have the option of choosing between a serum and a moisturizer, okay? So that is that for skin prep. Moving over to skin work. What do we need for skin work? Skin work consists of foundation, concealer. Okay, let us leave it here. Foundation and concealer. I would advise for foundation, you get three shades. Light, medium, and dark. Get a dark foundation, a medium foundation, a medium color foundation, and a light foundation. Okay? You can build up in between light and medium to get in between let's say caramel skin color then you can mix mix medium and the dark one to get like a chocolate or a dark skin do you understand do you understand the check when it comes to foundation i will give you a list of good foundations that are really affordable in terms of the form i don't really know their, their amount anymore but then these are products i know that are good but then they are quite affordable so products like laurel Products like um, Superstay, Nigerian brands like Yanga Beauty, Silvy Mac, Nigerian brands like Beauty by Eddie, they are more affordable. Do you understand? Yeah. And they are also good and they have like a wide range of shades when it comes to their products. Okay. So when you get these three basic shades, you can formulate other shades from the three of them. Okay. Like I said, start list two by this two. Try as much as possible to get at least good foundations, right? Yes, it will help a lot. You would also do the same thing with concealers. Get a light, medium, and dark concealer. So anybody you are trying to do makeup on, you can either ask them for their products or you can use what you have and be able to mix both products to get the exact shade that you want, okay? I don't know if this makes sense, but I hope it does. Moving on, the next non-negotiable product that you must have in your makeup kit as a beginner is a beauty sponge. A beauty sponge. You need a beauty sponge. You see that foam-like thing? You need it. So after applying your foundation with your brush, if you want to apply your foundation with your brush, you use the sponge to take out the excess, okay? So a beauty sponge is very, very important. Some people apply their product or their foundation with just beauty sponge. It will do you good to invest in the makeup sponge, okay? So another non-negotiable product that you need to have in your kit is a powder palette, okay? I'm saying a powder palette because it has the essential skin tones or skin shades in one palette. So you don't need to buy single palettes or single powders or compact powders because the price of one palette can be equal to the price of just one compact powder. We have not gotten to that stage yet. So at the beginner, we need to stick to a powder palette, okay? Saves you a lot, 
saves you a lot of money, saves you a lot of time, and reduces your load. I'm telling you, okay? Just get a palette powder. The same thing too with a lipstick. Get a palette lipstick that has essential colors in it. Nude, brown, pink, blush pink, white. Do you understand? Those palettes that has those essential colors that you know most people need most people need or most people prefer okay then you can just throw in a single red lipstick or another color that you like okay or more another color that is popular but then a single red lipstick does the trick because there are people that would most likely find their shades in the palette in the lipstick palette so when you are getting the single lipstick um, lipstick for the red color it helps a lot it just complements everything do you understand yeah so skin prep skin work products for skin prep products for skin work um the powder palette your lipstick palette then you can throw in a single red lipstick and you can also throw in a clear gloss as well so not not something too expensive something very affordable so for powder palettes our advice to get there are good ones there are tons of good ones and they're affordable so i feel like when you get to where you need to buy products from you can compare prices and then pick the one that you can afford let me not mention names but then go to a shop pick the ones that you can afford like compare price and then pay for the one that you can afford it works all the same okay and remember no pressure you can get them one at a time one at a time okay so another important product you need in your makeup kit is eyeshadow you need eyeshadows get good eyeshadows that have like beautiful shades beautiful colors because for the next product i'm going to call you can actually use your eyeshadow to achieve that same effect okay so you don't need to buy at least two different two different products at the same time you can use one and augment for the next one while you wait to why you wait till you're able to afford each of them individually okay so now your eyeshadow from your eyeshadow you can get bronzer that's highlighter from your eyeshadow from a good eyeshadow palette you can get blush so you see your eyeshadow getting a good eyeshadow palette has saved you the amount that you used to get a highlighter and a blush do you understand so get a good palette eyeshadow palette that has pink that has orange that has all these blush blush shades okay and if you're lucky there are some eyeshadow palettes that comes with cream blush okay so you can just save up money and get those and then there are gold eyeshadows there are champagne color eyeshadows that you can use to highlight the face all you need to do is just wet your brush and then use it to apply it it will come out beautifully like you applied a proper single highlighter this was exactly what i did starting up I did not have money to get single blush or to get a single highlighter anyways if you are really watching the tutorials like i said in the previous video part of the tutorial you will see is different ways to make use of your eyeshadow and i'm very sure it will help so this is also a keyword different ways to make use of eyeshadows and you will see videos that will show you a million and one things that you can actually use your eyeshadow for and it will really guide you so i'll advise you to see those videos because it will help you and it will help you save a lot especially starting as a beginner okay so now there are other products that would help complement everything that i've mentioned so far so you have mascara you have lip liner you have you have um eye pencils you have eyeliners okay so these other products will help complement the other products i've mentioned earlier you can throw in lashes at some point Do you understand you can throw in lashes if you have really mastered how to apply lashes i would advise you practice yourself first don't use somebody's face to practice how to fix eyelashes that would be very bad okay well, thank you guys i hope this tutorial has been so insightful if you feel that there are other essential products that a beginner would need that i did not mention please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you have learned from today's video and the other previous video i've posted okay i hope you guys are finding this video helpful i'm putting in a lot to throw more light on how to become a professional makeup artist from scratch i hope you have been able to find all these tutorials all these episodes very very helpful okay 
So for today's assignment, I would actually want you to create a look. Yes, create a look. Attempt to use all these products plus the tutorial that you have watched and replicate a look from one of the tutorials you have actually watched, okay? And like I said, you can send me a DM on Instagram and I will correct you from there, okay? So feel free to reach out, send me pictures of your job done and I will correct you, I promise, I will correct you, okay? So reach out to me, reach out to me, guys. Reach out to me, that's how you learn, you need feedback. Okay? So practice, receive corrections and become better, okay? So the next video you will be seeing, I'll be talking about how to properly keep start this your career as a professional makeup artist how to start earning the money okay so i'm very sure you don't want to miss this part of this video so stay tuned for the next video